Mark Jonathan here. Um, so I know it's been a while since I did a video of a repaint. Um, I feel like the universe <laughs> was kind of preventing me from doing anything. If it wasn't for like one thing, it was another. Basically what was happening is that my light that I use for lighting, it burnt out. And so I ordered a new bulb, and then when it got here, I put it on, and then it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> so I figured, okay, my light's broken, I have to go buy a new one. So I went and I bought a new one, it finally arrives, and then I plug it in and it doesn't work. <laughs> so I had to return that one, and then I finally um, went to a photo store and I bought a new light. So I was like, okay, I'm ready, I'm good to go, and then, my spray primers, the cans, they broke. They broke. So it's like, that happened, that happened, and then before that it was like, I was traveling for work and now I'm sick, but I was like, I have to make a video, I just have to do it. I mean, this is why my voice sounds extra nice. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys for all the love that you guys have been showing for my Trixie Mattel repaint. I really didn't expect such a like crazy response to it and um, it was just a really fun project that I wanted to do and I thought Trixie was awesome and it just got me really excited that you guys are liking what I'm doing and I do plan on doing more drag race personas. It's just taking a little bit longer because of the universe I'm gonna blame it on. <laughs> but yeah, there will be a few coming up, but in the meantime, I'm still gonna work on my Monster High repaints because it's what I like. So going into this first repaint, I wanted to do in kind of thematic way of Halloween, I wanted to repaint Skeleta Calaveras. Calaveras, I sound so like Latin. Well, I guess she is Latin. Latino, Latin. So for Skeleta's repaint, I really wanted to figure out what's my angle on like making this different than other ones. I kind of took the elements um, that you use in the face painting of Day of the Dead and kind of like incorporated them into her features so they kind of blend seamlessly, but you still get that face painted um, aspect of her. So right now I'm going to show you what the doll looked like before and it looked like this. Okay, so that's what the doll looked like before I repainted her, and now I'm going to walk you through my repaint. I start by mapping out the top part of her eyelid. This is where I get to create the shape that I want. Now with the blue watercolor pencil, I start mapping out where I want her eyelids to begin. Now with chalk pastels, I begin to shade her mouth. I wanted to keep the white and just have a subtle hint of pink. Now with the chalk pastels, I begin to blush in the sides of her face. Now with an eraser, I go in to define the jawline of her skeleton features. This is where I blend in the blush and the skull details. Next with the chalk pastel, I begin to shade in her eyeshadow. Using a brown watercolor pencil, I begin to map out where I want her eyes. Yeah. 
With a combination of dark brown and gold, I begin to define the colors of her eyes. Now with a black watercolor pencil, I begin to shade in the darks of her eyes and start drawing out her cat eye. As you guys may have noticed by now, I love me a bold cat eye. With a light blue color pencil, I begin to shape the petals of the florals around her eye. Now with black, I begin to draw the outlines of those flowers, just for more definition. Now with a darker blue, I start to define her eyelashes, which also work as a defining texture in the floral. I begin to map out her nose details. I want it to be more skeletal-like, so I drew it more realistic. But I kept it playful and made it blue. Now I begin to map out her eyebrows. This is where I wanted to merge the Day of the Dead makeup into her actual features. Now I will do the same process that I did on the other eye. Now with the navy blue watercolor pencil, I go in and define the lashes a bit more. I go in with chalk pastels to define the jawline a bit more. Now with the black pencil, I go in and start mapping out the Day of the Dead skeletal teeth. I curve out her mouth line to make it appear more skeleton-like. Now I begin to draw in her lashes and some additional detailing.
Next I go in with yellow acrylic paint to make her eyes pop a little bit more. With white paint, I begin to brighten her eyes and give her shine details. With black acrylic paint, I define her eyeliner and she's pretty much done. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the original doll on the left and my repaint on the right. Okay guys, so that was my repaint of Skelita Calaveras. I hope you guys enjoyed my repaint. I had so much fun doing it. It was really cool to like kind of figure out my take on like the traditional Dia de los Muertos makeup. Thank you guys again for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Just to keep up with all my latest videos, I promise to keep them coming a little bit more that I have everything back, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>